everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am in the process of making another luxury soap. This one is, you're going to tell them what it is? Got to talk loud. Oh, she's saying no. <laughs> Lemon buttercream. Uh, I just separated this. Uh, this is going to be white. I have not put my fragrance in yet. It's right here. I'm thinking this is going to discolor. Uh, this is a mix of a bunch of different scents. So I'm going to keep the white separate. I don't know if it's going to accelerate. You know, when you, you mix your fragrances, you really don't know what you're going to get. But it smells really good. We have been smelling scents and mixing scents all day. And it just smells really good in here right now. I should have poured the white first. So I'm hoping it's still going to look yellow when it is done curing. I made my colorant pretty strong. I mixed together a whole bunch of stuff because I'm trying to retain as much yellow as possible. Ideally in my, my brain I'm seeing a very pale yellow but that, that I don't think is going to be a possibility. So, if I can get any kind of a yellow out of this, I will be happy. And if I can't, well, it still smells really good. So, it is what it is. So this is just white. I don't use a vanilla stabilizer. Um, I want to use as few chemicals as I possibly can. I don't use parabens. I don't use dyes. I don't use anything with phthalates in it. I'm very picky about my colorant and my fragrances. the other day, somebody had asked me if phthalates were a deal breaker for me, and they are, because that is one of the reasons why I started making my own body products, was because of the chemicals that they put in into our products, and I don't want that on my skin or in my home. So, I don't use the vanilla stabilizer. If it changes colors, then so be it. It's not the end of the world. And I've had a few that have changed color and... Oh, I almost dropped that. Let's be a little more coordinated. Anyway, I've had a few that have changed colors and they're not what I was hoping for, but there's nothing wrong with them. Still whoa, whoa, hello, okay. Next time you're in the process of pouring down the side of your soap mold, stop pouring. Good heavens. Well, I stopped recording. I don't know if... Oh, my memory card is full. I'm going to pause really fast, see if I can find another card. All right.
right, we just had a mad dash looking for another memory card since that one was full. And I have like six of them in the house, but we couldn't find one. Oh, nope, that's not one. But thank you. You know, I think I'm just going to leave the rest of this for the top. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. I did a bunch of soap yesterday, well, the other day, and I haven't uploaded to the computer yet, so it's still on my memory card, and I have a bigger card somewhere, and normally I can get for um, making and cutting videos out of my cards, no problem, but this was a smaller card. I'm not 100% sure where my big one is. We have been moving the house around, my soap room. I lost my office, and so I took over my dining room. And we moved the dining room. But one of my daughters, the baby, needed more space. So she was sharing a room. and So we have two girls in their own room, and two girls are sharing right now. But... So I had to give up my soap room out in the open again. But I have a lot of room out here, so I'm not complaining. It's just going to be a little adjusting is all. And um, I haven't unpacked everything, so I still have some boxes in her room and some out here that I'm working around. I know my memory card is somewhere safe. It's just really, really safe. But it's summer and I have four kids, as I have said many times, who come first. And you know, we have a lot of stuff that we're dealing with there. Um, so we stay very, very busy. And I've got markets going on and festivals, and right now I am barely keeping up. In fact, I just ordered four more soap molds yesterday so that I can get caught up, and a shrink wrap system. So I am extremely excited. I think my life is going to get a little easier. Smack this. Actually, let's wipe this up first. Okay, remember those sticks you found earlier? Where did they go? Thank you, bunches. Make sure so you can still see what I'm doing. I just need this one. Thank you. So it looks really cool. I'm really hoping the yellow will stay yellow, at least a little yellow. It's just, it's so hard to know, especially when you mix fragrances, what's going to happen. A little bit of glitter. And there you have lemon buttercream. And this will be cured. August 30th, 2014, and available at StargazerSoaps.com. Don't go anywhere, because I will attach the cutting video to the back of this one. Okay, here is Lemon Buttercream. So far it's still yellow. I don't know if you can see the speckles on the side. Um, the fragrance is starting to change. I'm hoping it's not going to go... Can you hold that, please? Totally brown. I hope I put enough color in there to help counter that a little bit, but if I didn't, then oh well. It still smells amazing. 
there is one sample end and the other. It took me a while to get this one out of the mold. I poured so much soap down the side. I had to take a scraping tool and basically cut the soap out. looks really yellow on the camera. It's not that yellow in person. I mean, it's pretty yellow, but it's not that bright. To me, looking on the back of the camera, it looks like it's coming out as a really bright fluorescent yellow, and it's not. It's more of a true lemon. You're the best over. Well, thank you. I'm glad you think so. So this is, um, like I said, lemon buttercream. The buttercream is very subtle. It's more of a lemon than anything else. So you can smell the lemon, and then after, you pick up the buttercream. So it has some layers to it. Last one. I don't know. I think maybe we, well, I was gonna, I've had a name, but I changed my mind. I want to wait and see what this does. Um, if it changes colors, it might not be for a week or two that we really start to see that. But um, this will be cured August 30th, 2014, and will be available on my website, StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.